So what is the treatment? Treatment obviously is supportive in case you have a congenital heart disease, you will do surgery for that. Hypogonadism is primary. So in case the serum testosterone levels are low, you will supplement testosterone in the post pubertal age. Other than that, it is mainly a supportive therapy that needs to be given in these patients. But short stature is the thing which can be managed and short stature often responds to recombinant human growth hormone. So few points about this you need to remember. First is it is not recommended in all patients. It is recommended in those children where height for age is below third percentile. The dose is between 25 to 66 micrograms per kg per day. Uh, whenever I say uh, 25 to 66, um, some of the students who have read Nelson very well, better than uh, uh, others, they would say, sir, Nelson says 66. No, Nelson says up to 66. The actual range is we start with about 20 or so because less than that you can also start but it is not going to produce uh, much benefit. So 25, 50, 55, 65 is the maximum upper limit. Nelson gives below 66 actually. So 25 to 66 is the correct dose that you will remember. Then uh, it increases the mean standard deviation score by 1.3 to 1.7. In terms of absolute increase, you will find that the absolute increase in height is 9.5 to 13 centimeter in male and 9 to 9.8 centimeter in case of females, which is a significant improvement. However, very important MCQ points. N uh, Noonan syndrome patients who have PTPN11 gene mutation, the most common variety, they grow less well, right? They will have more chances of short stature and they show less response to this therapy also. The reason is that PTPN11 gene mutations also have a post signaling defect. And because of this, they have a partial growth hormone resistance. So it is not the problem in growth hormone levels per se, but the problem is in signaling. So they will you will find that these patients actually have a raised serum growth hormone. So giving growth hormone further is not going to produce much benefit. They have a raised serum growth hormone and low IGF-1 levels. And these are the patients who will be found to have more severe short stature compared to non-PTPN11 gene mutation wala Lunan syndrome. So this is a very, very important point that you need to remember and add to your notes regarding the Nunan syndrome.